Hello people, in this video let's look at the posterior dislocation of hip. So hip joint means what? The femur and the acetabulum, right? Um, so basically if there is posterior dislocation, what does it mean? The femoral head is going posteriorly, right? Back. So this was uh, posterior dislocation of hip. This is more common than the as anterior dislocation. So that is why they are talking about this uh, posterior dislocation of hip. This is also called as dashboard injury. Because whenever there is a, a road traffic accident, etc., the knee can hit the dashboard and that, uh, that impact can get transferred to the femur, shaft of femur, and, and from that there can be a posterior dislocation. So that is why it is also called as dashboard injury. Okay, so basically uh, in this uh, there can uh, not only be dislocation, there can also be an associated fracture. So that is why it can be a fracture come dislocation. So when it comes to hip, guys, uh, dislocation of hip, it is not just posterior, there are three things here, posterior, anterior and central fracture dislocation. Okay. Anyways, in this video we are looking only at the posterior one which is more common, isn't it? <coughs> then what are you looking at here in this um, image? You can see that um, this one seems normal but this one looks like it is dislocated, right? On the right side there seems to be a dislocation of the hip joint right so basically in these people what will you see guys there can be shortening of the leg okay shortening of the leg can be there you can um, the person can feel the uh, head of the femur in the gluteal region imagine you touch you touch your gluteal region instead of feeling soft buttock you might feel the hard head of the femur interesting right so here you can find the femur head in the gluteal region then you know if a patient is unconscious you may not even notice that that it is uh, this has got dislocated uh, anyway, so standard things that you will write will be pain. What will be there? Pain, swelling, deformity can be there. That is shortening, they told you. Right? And then there will be head of femur in gluteal region. Okay? So, uh, in unconscious patients, uh, this may go unnoticed. So, what they are saying is also, if you are... Um, if there is a femur fracture, then you should always go for an x-ray of the pelvis, okay? If there is femur fracture, always do an x-ray of pelvis, okay? To make sure that there is no dislocation. Pelvis means what? This is the pelvis, you see? So, you would have done only a uh, check on the fracture of the femur, right? Only this part probably you would have done. But you say no, you want the entire pelvis x-ray. That is where you are seeing the dislocation even in this uh, x-ray okay so what are the radiological features guys of what what is the topic we are looking at posterior dislocation of hip look here people so uh, posterior dislocation of hip um, radiological features let's look at now okay let's look at the radiological investigations i mean radiological features of posterior dislocation of hip radiological features Okay, so basically the femoral head is out of the acetabulum. Anybody will say that that is the dislocation and posteriorly, so it would have gone posterior. And the thigh is internally rotated. The thigh is internally rotated, <coughs> so you will not see the lesser trochanter. The shentence line is broken. Where is the shentence line, guys? Uh, shentence like approximately, if I tell you something like this. In this case, the shentence line will be broken. Okay, then um, what else do you see here? This is more than enough. You can look for any bony chip from the posterior lip of the acetabulum or from the head. Okay, head means what? Head of femur, is it? Femoral head is out of the acetabulum. Femoral head is out of the acetabulum. <coughs> Lesser trochanter is not seen. Shenton's line is broken. Then you can see some bony chip or something uh, from the posterior lip of the acetabulum or from the head. Obviously, it has to break the acetabulum and go behind, right, the head of the femur. So, there could be a bony chip of the uh, posterior lip of the acetabulum or from the head of the femur, I am missing, okay. When they say only head, you don't know whether it is the head of the person, they should say head of femur, right. Now, let's move on to the treatment of posterior dislocation of hip, guys. So, uh, the treatment for posterior dislocation of hip is um, 
you have to reduce this fracture as an emergency obviously you will try a uh, closed reduction so you'll say reduction is an mr is an emergency okay and how will you do you will do a closed reduction but uh, yes closed reduction how can you just take that person and pull his uh, A reduction means what? Basically, you will try to put it back in the. You'll just try to align it. You'll try to align uh, correctly, right? That is the reduction. So what you will do is general anesthesia. You will have to give. Okay, and then you will do a closed reduction. That is manipulation. Okay, closed reduction or, or, or that's whatever you're saying is manipulation. You will do the manipulation. Okay. Let me show you the photo. This is how they sh are showing the technique of uh, reduction of hip dislocation. You can just look at this. So you will be able to hear um, the sound of reduction. Okay, when it uh, becomes possible, basically you will hear the sound of reduction. After which it will become possible to move the hip freely in all directions. Okay. So basically, how will you do the manipulation technique and all they have given in the textbook? The patient is anesthetized, placed supine on the floor. on the floor they are placing interestingly the assistant grasps the pelvis firmly okay so the assistant there's an assistant who is grasping the pelvis firmly you can see here this is the assistant's hands the surgeon flexes the hip okay so the hip is flexed you can see here the hip is flexed so and the knee is at right angle okay so the knee is at right angle <clears throat> and he exerts an axial pull he exerts an axial pull the surgeon is pulling the assistant is Uh, stabilizing this uh, pelvis isn't it that the surgeon's job is only to pull it up in this position because who is holding it does uh, the assistant is grasping the pelvis firmly okay and then what do you see here uh, there will be a sound of reduction after this the hip will be uh, move uh, freely mobile in all directions so this is something that they are doing in um, general anesthesia okay the leg is uh, kept in light traction with the hip abducted for 3 weeks after this the hip mobilization exercises are initiated so that is more like a rehabilitation right so um, after this reduction what you do you give light traction with the hip abducted hip will be abducted and you will give light traction for 3 weeks and after that you will do you will teach the hip mobilization exercises okay so what are you going to do here light traction with hip abducted for 3 week after that hip mobilization exercises exercises okay now what are the complications of posterior dislocation of hip this is not at all difficult uh, posterior dislocation of hip uh, what can all can happen you can injure the sciatic nerve but no nerve injury is uh, not so common it is mostly a neuropraxia which anyways uh, recovers spontaneously but if the sciatic nerve is damaged uh, severely you know then the prognosis is poor okay avascular necrosis of femoral head see basically the femur uh, it has to be inside the acetabulum if it gets out of this acetabulum what will happen it will go into necrosis that's why they are saying that reduction also is this uh, whenever they mentioned this right reduction when you went to treatment they said reduction is an emergency why because there is a, a definitely a vascular necrosis of femoral head okay so that is why uh else a vascular necrosis of femoral head so that is why they want to put it back in its position okay otherwise there will be a vascular necrosis that's why they saying the reduction is an emergency right Yes, are you focusing? How is it going? Okay, then they are saying osteoarthritis. So joint joint problems have started for this guy, but this will be a late one. After many years, this can happen. Okay, and this can happen because of the avascular deformed head or an incongruous acetabulum or femoral head. What do you mean by incongruous? Not in harmony with the surroundings. Okay, then last one you have to remember is myositis. this ossificans so ossificans means what some calcification is happening myos myo ossitis right myositis ossificans so basically here there will be pain stiffness of the hip whenever you see the x ray there will be new fluffy bone around the hip nice right
especially if these people have head injury head injury they have written in the textbook i'm guessing it is femoral head injury persistent pain stiffness of the hip x-ray shows fluffy new bone that sounds nice actually fluffy new bone fluffy new bone around the hip but this is myo myositis ossificans okay so guys in this video we looked at the posterior dislocation of the hip this is more common than the anterior and the central fracture etc dislocation so basically here what is happening this is also called as dashboard injury because it can happen that um, whenever there is a the rta the road traffic accident the knee can hit the dashboard and the impact can get transmitted via the shaft of um, femur to this hip joint and cause a posterior dislocation of the hip this person will have pain swelling deformity shortening of the leg right and uh, uh when uh, uh, he can feel he can feel feel the head of femur in gluteal region okay and uh, when that's why they are saying uh, in unconscious patients it can be undetected as so whenever there is a femur fracture you should also do an x ray of the pelvis okay then um, basically what will you see in the radiological features you will see that the femoral head is out of the acetabulum obviously that is the dislocation then lesser trochanter is not seen because there is internal uh, what is this internal rotation of thigh or some specific rotation of thigh just hold on let's get that information radiological feature you can see that the thigh is internally rotated yes internal rotation of thigh due to internal rotation of thigh then shenton's line is broken you can see bony chip from the acetabulum or from the head of the femur okay then what did you see in treatment treatment uh, the uh, the reduction of this fracture is an emergency otherwise there will be avascular necrosis of the femoral head so give general anesthesia to this person and do a close reduction or manipulation uh, so you here you can see how they are doing the technique of uh, reduction so basically there is an assistant who's um, uh, holding the Uh, grasping the pelvis firmly and the surgeon is uh, see the position of the patient supine on the floor and uh, the hip is in uh, uh, flexed position right the hip is in flexed position and the knee is at 90 degree okay and then he's just pulling it he's just pulling it and the word is axial pull so when he is doing axial pull he'll, he'll feel uh, hear the sound of reduction after this the hip will be mobile in all directions and after this what will they do they'll do light traction with the hip abducted for 3 weeks and hip mobilization exercises basically uh, open reduction is done is done if closed fails okay open reduction means they have to surgically open it up they have to go go inside and reduce it this whatever they doing is a closed reduction because they are not doing any open surgery or anything okay but still see even for this procedure though it is not open they have to give general anesthesia okay then what else did you see what are the complications of complications of posterior dislocation of hip basically sciatic nerve injury mostly it will be a neuropraxia which will spontaneously recover otherwise it fits sciatic nerve is injured severely that could be a bad prognosis avascular necrosis of femoral head that's why they are doing immediate closed reduction or um, any immediate reduction osteoarthritis will occur after many years guys focus myositis myositis ossificans uh, this will ha uh, happen when there's fluffy new bone around the hip so there will be persistent pain and stiffness of the hip so in this video we looked at posterior dislocation of hip guys bye bye